A lot of people getting into that race season right now with race weekend coming up and pretty much falling right through until the fall. Uh, and there's some great tips and some advice that we have and might as well go to the pros. Uh, Sarah and John Zay have joining us from Continuing Fitness. Great Thank to have you. you back on the show. Welcome Thank to you. the show. Thank you. All right. And this is something that you focused on because you have clinics, you have, you're, you have things that you're working with with your clients because you know there's a lot that goes into a run and how to do it efficiently. Yeah, absolutely. And we do focus on uh, a lot with individual athletes. We'll do some testing find out where areas are maybe deficient, for lack of a better word, and then give them some specific exercises to get the body functional again, to set up for the rigors of run training. You have a lot of people that you're in and you're training. I know a lot of the work too with uh, pre and post uh, pregnancies, and so people want to be able to run, you know, run off after they've, they've had the baby. Is this something that you see a lot of clients looking for advice on because it's it, it's a, the next goal or next project they have? Absolutely. And during pregnancy, you know, a lot of things shift around. There's a lot of you know looseness and things shifts and changes that happen during you know pregnancy and especially in the hip area. So we really like to focus on stabilizing that area, ensuring that there's a lot of stability so that they can imp, you know create some impact and add because we can be and I'm really honest about this kind of things. Things shift and it feels different and it feels like things are actually moving and things are looser and you know sometimes you feel like you need to wear a diaper too when you're running and there's a lot of things that change. There's a lot so, of different things that come into play. Yes. So we do focus on the Kegels, you know, the internal muscles and the external muscles, so superficial and deep and really ensuring that they're very stable, you know, because if there's instability then that's where injury can occur and you know discomfort and pain. Um, so creating that foundation is really key. Okay, I know that you had a couple exercises that you wanted to be able to show uh, us. Absolutely, so a couple of key areas for runners is we work the muscles around the hips and the pelvis. So this first one, Sarah's gonna demonstrate on the exercise ball, the emphasis is to work the glute max, which controls the hip well. It's a low intensity exercise, and the focus on this case on her left side is she's gonna work on activating the glute muscle before lifting up into hip extension with some pressure with the other thigh into the ball to help lock and stabilize the pelvis while she's going into the movement. She's got to be strong, I mean, just to be able to hold the ball in place, too. You're working everything. Yeah, the ball's a tool more to stay over top of it, and then she's using that tool to help stabilize everything while she does the movement through the hip. And often what we find in runners is they become uh, hamstring dominant, mm -hmm. glute max just sort of goes asleep, and this way we're going to wake it up with a low-intensity exercise before we progress them. When you're waking it up, you felt that probably within the second or third rep right there. Totally. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. And then when we think about core control or pelvic and lumbar, lumbopelvic stability, uh, Sarah's going to be my wall here. Um, if you have an exercise like this where you're standing on your feet as a runner, you're upright, pressing into the ball is going to start to activate your core muscles and then trying to maintain stability as you go through a slow marching pattern and the greater amount of pressure that you push into the ball, the greater amount of uh, stability is required to keep you from going out of, out of alignment. Would you say for people to do this on a running day as a warm up or prior to or this is something that they would just add into going for runs and coming this, back in? This time of year when the runners are out actually running a lot more, a couple of key exercises probably just prior to running to wake up muscles would be fantastic. In an off season time where running volume starts to decrease, then they could put a little more emphasis in strength and stability work. Okay, we have about 30 seconds. Can you show us? I know you had one more to show One more? Like sure. So this one works one of the key stabilizers of the hip when you're in stance phase of running. Sarah's going to be my wall again. You would gently push this knee into the stability ball and the working side gluteus medius is on this side. The greater amount of pressure that goes in there, the more this muscle has to activate. And it works the hip in the way that it works every time you're in stance phase of your run. Interesting. So these are just done against a wall. Yeah, instead of a, a instead lovely of a, model. Yeah, <laughs> right, instead, of the, uh, instead of the ball there. And I know you have a clinic that's un, that's underway, but these are great tips for anyone who's heading out to, uh, to be able to run. And, of course, to find more information, just check out the website that's listed on your screen. Always pleasure. Good luck with your runs. And you. hopefully you're not going out on another 300-kilometer run anytime soon. Not you know? soon. <laughs> <laughs> not soon. We, did, we just finished one. Exactly. We just did that. Exactly. All right.